Alrighty everyone, how you guys doing? Welcome to Apple Weekly number 70. That is correct, we're 30 more episodes away till the century if you couldn't already get those mathematic skills in place. This is of course a show where we cover everything Apple, but of course you watching right now already know that. Getting straight into the iStories, Apple retail stores had a bit of a mess up this week. A few days back it was reported that Apple were potentially cutting jobs at Apple retail stores. Employee hours were being cut, employees work schedules were being affected, employees were being relocated and of course this generally had an effect on all the news outlets who reported this and Apple had to come clean which they did and said hey it was just a big mistake we used the wrong formula. So if you don't know, Apple's retail guy or the retail guru is John who comes from the UK and who kind of was the CEO of Dixon's, who everyone in the UK knows that was a huge fail. So why Apple hired the guy? I'm not too sure, but this recent uh, thing that happened at Apple Retail was a huge blunder because Apple themselves in a leaked memo said, we hold a hand up and this was indeed a mistake. We are indeed hiring new people. They were just trying to use a new formula for Apple employees and the story didn't really make sense to me uh, on a level anyway because Apple retail was so successful. Why do they need to cut jobs? You know if there's one retail that is growing you know quarter by quarter it is Apple retail and coupled with that is the upcoming iPhone 5 launch. We all know how busy things can get on an iPhone launch why or why would they be cutting hours? Why would they be slashing jobs? It just didn't add up leading up to an iPhone release anyway. Next up, here is what the next iPad mini will potentially look like. A large iPod touch. No shit Sherlock. Of course it's going to be bigger than an iPod touch and a bit less than the iPad current generation hence the name iPad mini. And a few case manufacturers have already put their cases for the iPad mini into production to be first on the market and it's a huge gamble. The iPhone 5 is going to land on the 12th of September. It's pretty much kind of confirmed in a sense that all the reputable sources are backing this day as the launch date. And like last year, what happened with the iPhone 4S where European carriers gave out tickets or coupons to customers to wait in line or a kind of a guarantee that they will get an iPhone on launch. Same thing is happening in Germany right now for the iPhone 5 where customers are being given uh, a voucher. So if you have one, you'll be guaranteed for an iPhone first uh, as soon as it's been released on the day. And this is one of those rumours where when you see it, you know it's the real deal. Something is going to happen only if the same thing happened with Mac Pro launches. Staying in the topic of product launches, the iPod Nano is supposedly going to see a refresh come September. That is at least according to a German retailer or a German award scheme whereby you can use points to purchase products. So those customers who put points towards an iPod Nano got a notification saying um, there's going to be a hefty delay in terms of receiving their iPods because Apple is sending them new ones come September and if that isn't a major rumour slash release then I'm not too sure what it is. Well the Apple store itself and other major third party resellers haven't reported stock shortages this is indeed a good sign of some resellers are starting to now see stock shortages and of course over the next few weeks you'll see Amazon and all the major other ones Best Buy run out of stock and then eventually the Apple stores will say three to five weeks for delivery. What are you expecting to see from the new iPod Nano? I hope they come to their senses and bring the click wheel back. Don't shoot the messenger. Next up, Steve Jobs' house got burgled. 60,000 US dollars worth of goodies disappeared in mid-July and they've recently caught the suspects who have been bailed at half a million dollars. Among the goodies were iPads, iPhones, iMacs, uh, Mac Pros uh, and the family weren't at the house at the time because they're getting some renovation building work done so there was a lot of scaffolding, a lot of construction work going on. One of the stolen items which belonged to Steve Jobs which happened to be an iPad turned up at a circus with a clown. You couldn't make this up really could you? I'm not too sure how the thieves were caught out three weeks later whether find my iPhone or find my iPad or find my iMac was used uh, I guess we'll find out over the next couple of days. And last but not least, just when you thought the whole Apple v Samsung case and all these other companies fighting out, Google just decides off the bat, hey, 
we're just going to throw in another claim just to just for the fun of it. So Google's Motorola SBU decides to file a complaint against Apple uh, and tries to get the iPad, the iPhone and the Mac banned from the United States allegedly due to patent infringement. All these patent wars have just been blown away out of proportion. It just seems that everyone's just at each other's throats yet they're all still working with each other and it must just be really awkward, you know, because Samsung provides, of course, the chipsets for Apple devices, but yet again, Samsung also kind of is a competitor for Apple because they've started developing their own phones, and it's like, what on earth is going on here? And the judge recently has said to both parties, Apple and Samsung, sort it out, guys, just settle it. We will, in the next few days, be hearing as to what actually happened in the Apple v Samsung case. Um, but either way, it's uh, going to be a huge loss for e for both parties if they lose. Um, so it's going to be one of those interesting cases that everyone's got their eyes on. That is it for this week in Apple, guys. There's not been any news on Mac stuff, which is what I was looking forward to, to be honest. Nothing on the Mac Mini, iMac, or Mac Bit Pros, or Mac Pros, nothing, nothing at all. Hopefully next week will be better in terms of Mac news. I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Uh, dot com slash i6 glasswegian got a facebook fan page join me on there uh, facebook.com slash i glasswegian heck just go to i glasswegian.com for all the links and i'll see you in the next video i can't believe Cheers. this i'm one kilogram over the limit and you're asking me to pay extra look sir unless you're gonna pay extra or you're gonna actually remove some items you're not actually gonna be able to travel today okay now move along your whole this is line. absolutely f***ing ridiculous there's nobody behind me you p i hope you trip over that f***ing van valve of yours and you f***ing Break your neck, you sir. Any more attitude like that, and I'm gonna offload you from a flight, and I'll probably end up slapping the hell with you. That's the last okay? time I fly with your damn company. Bro, are you mad? Are you mad, bro? All you really need is an eye gear Garmin, featured in the Herald, the Journal, the Gadget Show, and the British Force News, as well as other media outlets.